Look in the ring. It's a WrestleMania 1. No, it's a Halloween Havoc 1997. No, it's the year of our Lord 2003 as Roddy Piper takes on Hulk Hogan's alter ego, Mr. America. What is a Mr. America, you ask? After beating Mr. McMahon at WrestleMania 19 to save his career in a match 20 years in the making, despite Piper and his pipe's surprise return to WWE during that match, Vince responded to the loss by handling his Hogan problem with a peek into the future of how he'd deal with other malcontents. I'm going to pay you every dollar you've got in your contract. Yes, I am. I'm going to pay you, Hogan, to stay at home. But a few weeks later, it was revealed SmackDown GM Stephanie McMahon had won a bidding war with Raw over signing exciting new prospect Mr. America sight unseen to a Big Show-esque ironclad contract, angering her father and reinforcing the epidemic that is corporate nepotism. Despite doing things Hogan would never do, like respect a black man, Mr. McMahon was convinced, and with proving Hogan was under the mask the only way to fire Mr. America, Vince enlisted Roddy Piper after seeing him yank Mr. America Stan Zach Gowan's leg off. With Sean O'Hare inexplicably paired alongside Piper at the time, Mr. America tries to even the odds by bringing out his number one fan, Zach Gowan. Hogan and Piper work a match with stomps, punches, kicks, punches, weight belts, and punches, but no bumps until Piper eats a big boot four minutes in this five minute match. It also included a 70 second sleeper hold, something Michael Cole thought impossible on a man wearing a piece of fabric on his face, as we get this show's Art Donovan Nighttime Achievement Award winner for Worst Call of the Night. Well, how, how much does this guy weigh? Hey, who's six on his arms there, Art? Huh? 600 pounds plus. Oh, oh. Well, can you get a grip of the sleeper hold with that mask? Uh, yeah, I think you can. If I mean, Piper's wrestled for about, you know, so many millions of you know, long years, you know yeah. what I mean? With Piper prone on the mat from the aforementioned Big Boot, Vince emerges for the distraction in Mr. America's low blow, setting up a pipe shot to bring it all full circle that's ducked and allows Mr. America to connect with another of his trusty punches and drop the leg. Zach Gowan cops the feel of Vince's games on the apron to keep him from breaking the pin as Mr. America wins, but Vince is also a winner because this intro means it's time for the GIF of the Gods Award, honoring the most giveable moment of a show, which in this case was Vince's reaction to being outsmarted by the one-legged wrestling fan in an ass-kicking contest. It was the best of times, and it was also the worst of times, as the match dubbed Age in the Cage when it happened in 1997 also takes home the Saudi Special Award for Worst Match on This Night in 2003, making it very fitting that there was a fan in the crowd wearing a Washington Wizards Michael Jordan jersey. Still love you though, Roddy. Wow, great point, Justin. I never thought about it like that. If you enjoyed this clip like I did, then click the box in the middle for more from this episode, and subscribe to Wrestle Reward.